to answer any questions. So I'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Um, so just a little bit of background about Pass to College events um, for anyone who's new this year. Um, Pass to College events were created as a statewide initiative um, aimed at increasing the college going culture in the schools and providing insight into the college going process um, to our students as they approach um, high school graduation. Pass to College events really began um, with College Application Week, um, which we'll talk about a little bit more today, um, but it's in a nutshell, um, a week where we encourage seniors to apply to college. It has grown into a week where we encourage all students to think about their college going plans and to think about um, the steps that they want to be taking um, to make sure that they're college ready. Um, the college application week, as I said, was, has been our oldest and is by far our most popular event. Um, out of that success, we grew um, college planning nights which um, we encourage schools to hold for students the spring of their junior year. Um, but again, any time during the year that works for you is great with us. And college planning nights are um, kind of ready-made parent nights. We create a slideshow for you. We create um, as much information as we can put together in a handbook so that you have kind of a how-to guide um, for your students of going to college and all the financial aid information, especially um, Tennessee-specific information as we've had um, a lot of new exciting changes with Tennessee Promise. We try to put that all into one place um, for you. Um, the next one that is College Signing Day, which is looks like Decision Day in some other states as well. And College Signing Day is around May 1st of a student's senior year. And that's when we really celebrate um, all our students and all of you all and the work that um, everyone has done to get our students ready and excited about college and that they've made their decision. They've signed on to where they're going to go to school. Um, so that looks very different at different schools. Um, some schools have like a signing where the students come up and sign um, a pledge that they're going to college. Other schools do a pep rally. Um, it looks different at every school, but the essence is really to celebrate that our students have made a decision about going to college and where they're going to go. And then the newest event um, that there will be um, upcoming webinars about is the Tennessee FAFSA Frenzy. Um, Tennessee FAFSA Frenzy was really built out of um, thinking about the new timeline this year with the October FAFSA uh, um, opening up the new timeline. We tried to think about how we could best support um, you all in your schools and brought together partners at the state level from the Department of Education, um, TSAC, THEC, and as well as the Tennessee Promise organizations to put together some tools and to bring together the best practices um, are, are already going on around the state around FAFSA completion. Um, so all of those events will be upcoming webinars on, but today we're going to focus in on this college application week. College application week um, is this year will be held September 26th to September 30th um, next week here in Tennessee. Again, um, for some schools, that week is just not a great week, so they have moved it to this week or the following week or splitting it among two weeks. Um, that's perfectly okay. Um, we understand that school schedules, um, the 26th to the 30th, is not always the best week. Um, but we do, in, we do encourage you to celebrate it um, at some point and then to send us your pictures and your best practices because we want to see um, what you're doing with your students to encourage them to apply to college. Um, as a part of a nationwide campaign to increase the number of students who are applying to college, we are currently the second biggest state in the country um, with our college application week, which is really exciting. Last year we had 270 schools um, and organizations participate. This year we are pushing 300 schools and organizations. So it's still growing in Tennessee and we're really excited about that. Um, during college application week, as I said, we encourage students to apply to college, but we also encourage them to apply to scholarships. Um, such as the Tennessee Promise, and to really just get them talking about college. And um, as I also mentioned, the underclassmen and the younger students are encouraged to participate just as much as the seniors. Um, they don't have those college applications to be filling out right then, but they can do interest inventories, they can start doing um, virtual college tours, or even to go to a college and see what's going on. Um, there's lots of activities that you can be doing with younger students, and we provide um, those tools for you in the implementation guide, um, which I'll talk about in a second. And as we're going through and talking about what college application week can look like in your school, we really want to be clear that we want this event to fit 
what's best for your kids and for your school. Um, for some schools, it works great to have just one day as their college application week, and that's perfectly okay, and um, we're excited about that. And in other schools, they do a week-long event. Um, some schools have a pep rally. Some schools have students um, completing applications in the library. Whatever looks best for your school um, is something that we encourage and that we support. So um, when you sign up for College Application Week, kind of the hallmark um, here in Tennessee is that we provide you with a College Application Week Implementation Guide. Um, and what the Implementation Guide is, is we try to put as many resources as we can into one place to support you in creating, into doing um, your College Application Week. And Courtney has um, added that file into this webinar that you can um, open up, and you also should have received that in an email from Courtney. Um, if you have not received your College Application Week Implementation Guide, please email me or Courtney. You'll see um, our contact information come up at the end, and we'll make sure that you get it. Because um, we really do try to make it chock full of as many resources as we can. Um, some of the things that are in there is that we have an event planning and checklist. We talk to some other um, schools around the state to see how they plan their College Application Week and try to put it in one place to give um, those of you who are new to College Application Week kind of a starting place. Uh, we also provide a volunteer um, resource guide. We know that volunteers are really um, crucial to many, uh, to many of the events that go on across the state, and we try to, to put all those things into one place for you. We have a letter that you can share with your volunteers. We have kind of a college application how-to guide that you can share with your volunteers. Um, things that are pretty standard, but we just try to check that one step for you and have it already written ready for you. Um, some of my favorite things that are in the implementation guide is that we have in-school and community um, promotion ideas. Um, over the past seven or eight years that we've done the College Application Week, we've seen really cool um, ways that um, schools have gotten the community involved and gotten their students excited. And we try to share those um, as much as we can um, so that other schools want to do the same thing. We also have a College Application One Pager. That is great if you want to share it um, with your faculty or with your parents to say, like, this is what College App Week is and to get everyone excited, but also just kind of on the same page of what it's going to look like. Um, and as I mentioned, we try to provide as many activities as we can, um, not just for your seniors, but for all your students. Um, I think for seniors, it's pretty self-explanatory that they're filling out their college application, and that's awesome. And that's really, I mean, really the essence of what College App Week is. Um, but she, um, but we also want to make sure that if you want to have um, your elementary school students do some activities and watch Monsters um, University, or if you want your ninth graders to do a interest inventory, we try to put those tools all in one place for you. Um, we also have student application uh, information sheets, and there's just some worksheets that if you want to print out for your students. Um, to get to give them prize and some information about next steps. It's, again, it's things that um, many folks already have, but we try to put it all in one place so it's one less thing that you need to create. So um, we also have a lot of new tools in the implementation guide. Um, this summer, we brought together five college access practitioners um, and school counselors from across the state to really um, look at the path to college events and see what we're doing well and what are things that we could do better. Um, we really want to make sure that these are that the events and the resources that we provide are serving on um, you all and um, in the best way that we can. So from that um, those meetings, we have some really cool new tools that we put in the implementation guide and new things that you'll see um, around the year um, around all the past college events. One of those things is we have the best practice spotlight. Um, those of you who have participated in past college events in the past, we love our best practices and we love to share those um, in one section of the implementation guide. Um, but now we have some that are covered throughout the implementation guide. So if you're just looking to see um, how one school encouraged their students to look at all schools and to choose their best fit, it's right there um, in that section that we talked about best fit. We also have a lot of um, elementary school college application week ideas. Um, the elementary school in the middle school college application week um, resources is something that has been a focus for us. And we've included some in the new College Up Week implementation guide, and we're going to continue to um, bulk up that section. We also, as I mentioned, we have some real, even more really cool promotion ideas. Um, and Dana from Dana Smith from Claiborne County is going to be talking about some of the that she does in her schools. Um, again, um, we also 
the new collegefortn.org activities. Um, many of you know collegefortn.org went through uh, a refresh over the summer and is now relaunching this year. So we provided some new activities that you can do with your students. Um, again, we have some educator FAQs. There are some questions that we get every year um, and that we're more than happy to answer and we love um, talking with all of you all. But sometimes we just try to put some of those FAQs in one place so that you have them. And then again, we have some really cool promising practice of um, how schools are increasing the students who are applying to college and matriculating on to school. So um, Dan is going to talk about how college application week looks in her county, and I just wanted to provide a couple examples to really emphasize that it can look different in every school. Um, and honestly, it should look different at every school because your schools are also different. Um, you can see here we appeared in high school, they do a um, path to college and college app week photo booth, and then they have a um, bulletin board that shows where the teachers went to school. Um, McNary County did a door decorating contest. Um, you can see one of their doors up there. And then they also had a tree um, that showed where their students had applied to college. And then here at Merrill Hyde Magnet School, they had um, their students applying to college. They had a little station set up. And then for their students who did apply, they put on their college app week stickers on their lockers. Um, those stickers are something that once you um, register for college application week, you'll receive. If you have registered and you have not received them, again, please let me know. So um, in addition to the stickers, when you apply to our register for a path to college event, um, including College Application Week, we try to send you as many college or college growing culture type activities and swag as we can. So some up here are some of the posters and wall claims that we'll send you. Um, the path to college and the college for TN, um, dot org. Uh, logo are both wall claims that you can put up on your walls and then take down and move around as many times as you'd like. And then the On College Bound and the I Apply are stickers that we send um, one for each of your kids. The I Apply is when you apply is when you register for a college topic and On College Bound is for College Signing Day. And we also have a Tennessee Best of Friends sticker. So we um, will provide you with as many resources as honestly as we can think of and everything that um, you all ask or we try to Put together and really the week and um, all the past college events are completely free to your schools. The only thing that we ask for is a little bit of information. Um, following college application week you're going to receive a survey from me and we do ask for some best practices and some pictures if you want to share those and of course we want as many of those as you're willing to share but we really also just need a few numbers so that we can really be tracking how our state's doing and continue to improve. And we ask for the number of applications that are submitted, the number of seniors who participated, and the number of students excluding seniors who participated in our college app week. Um, and in the implementation guide, we have a couple templates that are suggestions of how you can be um, tracking that. And if it doesn't work, um, if that doesn't work for you, um, feel free to really track it whatever way you please. So um, without further ado, I'm going to open um, up the line to Dana Smith, who is from Claiborne County. And she is, has done some really cool things um, with all of her Path to College events, but um, College Application Week in particular, she was part of the group who came um, this summer and helped us revamp the group, and was really, and we were lucky enough that she was willing to share some of her great ideas um, with us today. So if I can just figure this out, we will get Dana on the line. Hi, Mary. Okay, Dana, are you there? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Dana, I'm going to turn it over to you, and I will just click over whenever you say. Okay, thank you very much. In Claiborne County, we're servicing two high schools, Cumberland Gap High School and Claiborne High School. The first photo that you see is our Chalk It Up contest. We invite students to stay after school for a couple of hours and we provide chalk and drop cloths and gloves and snacks and um, they decorate a parking space for the college of choice that they have and it can even include what they plan to study or programs that the college offers. The photo that you see here is from Cumberland Gap High School last year. Those students were interested in attending Carson Newman 
and studying music. So we were really proud of the success that we had with this. We let the students work in teams. One of the things that we noticed is that some of them wanted to spread out over several parking spaces and that became a daunting task that took longer than what they anticipated. But overall, it was a great success. I think our proudest moment was that um, the student you see there in the green shirt, she left, went home, and brought her parents back to see what they had done. The drawings lasted about four days before the rain came and there was no residue left over. So we were really happy with that. The second photo that you see is from Claiborne High School. Our students are very well aware of the rock at the University of Tennessee and many of our students follow the University of Tennessee admissions office on social media and admissions often features the art on the rock at UT. So our administration provided this rock for our students. It's about seven and a half feet tall and probably nine feet wide maybe. And we are allowed to put announcements and artwork on it as applies to what's happening in our school at the time. We advertised College Application Week last year. Our counselor, Ms. Payne, set this up and it looks great. So our students are really excited about the rock and they take it very seriously. So those are our two outdoor events that we had last year. Okay, are we ready to go on to the next slide? All right. Also at Claiborne High School, last year Ms. Payne came to me with the idea to set up an alumni brunch. And you can see that we're in the multi-purpose room at our school. We had tables set up with um, sandwiches, chips, cookies, bottled water, and each table was decorated for a specific college or College of Applied Technology. We had a representative from that college at the table, and our seniors all came in and had a seat at one of the tables. We set a timer up on the projection screen on the stage. I'm sorry that it's out of the photo. And we set it for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, we announced rotation and the students chose another table. So they were able to visit five representatives or alumni from our high school as well as the colleges that they were visiting and learn about programs that were offered as well as personal experiences and advice from those visitors we had. It was very successful and we are doing it again this year. This is one of the boards that we have at Cumberland Gap High School. We have focused on um, the mentoring component of Ten Achieves with regard to Tennessee Promise and we want students to not only be able to identify who has been a mentor to them before they become a participant in Ten Achieves and Tennessee Promise, but also we want them to be mentors. Um, the board that you see was our first activity this year with our Senior SIB program and we ask each of them to identify someone who has been a mentor to them and we ask them to take a card out, give it to a friend who is also a senior and ask them to do the same. So we identified the role of a mentor and then encouraged our seniors or our senior SIBs that you know you need to emulate that when you're working with your little SIBs in the eighth grade and helping them prepare for the transition to high school, but also be aware of when the time comes, if you choose to use Tennessee Promise, that the mentor you are assigned will be trying to also help you um, advance in your goals that you have set. Uh, we are asking for college acceptance letters as well. One thing that's really important when we do this is we ask the students to bring them in, we make a copy and give them the original back. And before we display it, we make sure that we remove any kind of identification numbers, um, school specific email addresses or physical addresses of the student to protect their privacy. But we um, 
have a competition between our two high schools to see which one has the most letters. And I can tell you right now, Claiborne is ahead. <laughs> Our seniors are in the process of creating their FSA ID and instead of putting up a traditional checklist or passing out worksheets, we have also created this board. Um, I made directions and printed them out on cards and went around the building during fourth block, found students to hold them up and I took their photo. I'm hoping that students will be drawn to the board to look and see who is in the picture and then take in the information. But each photograph that you see, the student is holding a card that has one of the required pieces of information students should have before filling out an application for an FSA ID. Um, this, our uh, contribution to this particular photo is down at the bottom. We have um, two businesses in our area that sell food products in um, disposable containers that aren't already marked with business specific logos or any other wording. For example, the ice cream cone that you see is the logo for the Frosty Freeze, which is, are the best cheeseburgers you will ever have in your life. And that business is a drive-in restaurant here in town that is 60 years old. They are kind enough to let us print stickers and bring them out there and put them on their to-go bags so that patrons of the restaurant will be reminded of important events such as College App Week, FAFSA deadlines, Tennessee Promise deadlines, and other things that we feel are important to get out into the community. We're also hoping to make Gear Up, FAFSA, Tennessee Promise, Ten Achieve more familiar terms to our community, and this helps do that as well. And then uh, Taswell Speedway lets us do the same thing on their popcorn bags. So we make stickers, they give us the bags, we put the stickers on the bags and they give those to their patrons as well. So if you have a concession stand at your school or a business that does not have logo intent <laughs> to go packaging, I suggest approaching them and asking if you could add just a basic address label with some information on it. You can print 30 per page and it's pretty cost effective. Most importantly, it doesn't create any unnecessary um, waste for someone else to pick up. We are very aware of that responsibility. This year during College App Week, we're going to be asking our Gear Up cohort group, the class of 2018, to participate in a pennant decoration project. We ordered poster board, I think we got a case of it, uh, 50 sheets of whiteboard, and we took traditional pennants and cut out poster board pennants in that size from those. We have directions and suggestions for how they may go about this, but we want them to decorate the pennants to represent their schools of choice and to explain to us what it is about that school that um, drew the student in, got their attention, made them want to be a student there after they graduate from high school. So we're looking forward to seeing what kind of participation we have in this. We've also put a teaser out on social media to get students thinking ahead of time before we give them the materials next week. They'll have three or four days to complete it and bring it in. Thank you. At this time, um, we can open up, we'll open up all the lines um, for any questions or any comments that anyone has. Alright, it looks like everyone is off 
mute. So if anyone has a question for Mary or for Dana um, about College Outweek or back to college in general, please let us know. Um, we are happy to answer anything that's on your mind. Um, we had a couple of questions that came through um, this type of Thank you. 